Hey there guys, welcome back to the workshop. I hope you've been creative and productive lately. And as for me, I think I've been both of those things because I've been working on a complete redesign of my fair wings that I made in a previous video. Uh, and I've been working on something called uh, animatronic thigh rocket pods. Uh, videos for those are still in the pipeline. So if you haven't subscribed already, I think you should because you will not want to miss those. Today, I'm gonna be building a couple of wing frames and a back plate to serve as a foundation for a costume called Sprite Darter's Wings from World of Warcraft. They're not for me. Skymoon Cosplay actually asked me for some tips on how she should make uh, wings for her costume, and I figured I might as well summon my metalworking powers and use them for a good use and make the entire thing for her. So uh, let's see what we can come up. I already drew up a bit of a prototype blueprint. It's as wide as her back is and as tall as the uh, plate should be, I think. If you can imagine the wings being mounted towards me, they will want to rotate the plate off the body. So we need some height that will be able to resist that. And I think this is about the minimum we can get away with. A flat piece of metal is not a back brace just yet. It needs to be shaped to adhere to the contours of the bodies, and so it could be hidden under clothing easier. I'm thinking that this crease here will follow the spine, kind of, you know, in between your shoulder blades, and then these two flat bits here will serve sort of like a wrap around the shoulder blades. So if you would look from this angle here, it would be like kind of like a heart-shaped uh, curve. I'm getting there actually. I'm gonna round out the edges a little bit more. Now I'm gonna try to make the webbing attachment points curve a little around the shoulders. got a little bit tired of hammering, so I figured I'll explain why all these curves matter so much. All these compound curves that I just hammered out, they're not only about the fit and the shape of the piece, it's actually the source of the rigidity. Uh, so take a look at this. A simple flat piece of paper is flimsy, but if you take a piece of paper and fold it, then you can give it strength just by shaping it. See, this little fan can uh, extend forwards quite far and uh, not buckle under the gravity. Well, a flimsy piece of paper will dangle like a piece of paper. <laughs> Similar thing happens when you shape metal. So all these curves and features that we just made, they resist torsion and mechanical deformation better than just a flat piece would. In addition to that, hammering itself compacts the molecules. So work hardened metal is just hammered together and compacted. That's why I figured two millimeter plate is plenty thick for this back plate. Time is of the essence, so I think I'll use a few off the shelf components that you can buy online to attach the wings to the back plate. I'm thinking along these lines. So I have this blueprint right here in front of me that's gonna be the reference for the actual wing, how it's gonna look in the end. Uh, and according to it, I need about five-ish, seven-ish centimeters of uh, rod length. So this is gonna be the spacer between the back plate and the wing. Okay, so let's give these a shot, huh? Come on. Ah, gonna tighten them down temporarily. Ah, uh -huh. I'm really giving it to her and it's not flexing. The wing frames will be made up of a few different components, but this one is the main one. It's an off the shelf little piece called a rigid coupler and uh, all it will do is help us fasten the wings to the back plate. And to these metal couplers, I'll be welding on some steel wire to sort of serve as a frame for the wings. A 
So this was roughly what I was imagining. Welding on a curved surface is kind of hard, especially if you want to have both items in a line through the middle. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a hole through the coupler so I would have clear points at 12 o'clock and 6 o'clock. Since the holes are already threaded, I think I'll just take a regular long screw and then bend it into an L shape so it would work like an Allen key. That looks pretty much on point. Man, this is turning out better than I expected. Uh, one more thing that I need to do is to round off the edges to uh, make them nice and smooth to wear and also uh, make holes for the webbing so you'd be able to stitch on the straps. Okay, I think I'm done with the sanding and I think I'm done for today. Uh, I'm gonna assemble it tomorrow and present it to Skymon. So today's the day and the location is Skymon's room slash workshop. <laughs> Hello Skymon. So I have a little something for you. Yeah, so just let me grab it from the my magic hat. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there you go. It's That's a cool. fresh pair of wings for you. Uh -huh. um, I, did, I didn't add the uh, webbing yet because I figured you might want to dial in the lengths and like everything else yourself. Uh, but it's meant for 25 millimeter um, uh, webbing and uh, yeah. Cool, awesome. Can't mm. wait to get started on the rest of them. Yeah. I'm gonna try to get some footage so you could uh, include it maybe if you want. Oh yeah, of course. That'd be really <laughs> cool to see how you actually end up uh, wrapping them up. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Mm -hmm. Sky Moon took some footage for us and here it is. The first thing she did was finish the straps so she could approximate where she'll have to make holes in her jacket. I think the fit turned out pretty decent even though it was just me guessing the shape and any gaps in between will be fixed with some foam padding. Um, as for the wings themselves, uh, Sky Moon is using 2mm EVA foam for the main wing surfaces. She printed out a blueprint of the wing and is slicing out eyelets in it to use it as a stencil. Then everything repeated and sliced out from foam. She's not throwing out the cutoffs and you'll see why in a minute. So this is where you see my work finally come into play. Um, Skymon is slicing out some slots for the wing spines and gonna seal them up in this foam wing sandwich. Regular contact glue is actually really good at sticking metal to foam. Uh, since it's embedded between the layers it doesn't really matter, but the sturdier the better. To fill in the gaps, Skymon is adding some foam clay in between the layers to make it a smooth, continuous surface. Then some priming with Flex Bond, which is an EVA foam primer, and uh, all it does is seals it up and makes it ready for paint. Instead of a paintbrush that might leave strokes, uh, Skymon is using an airbrush to make the layers nice and smooth. <laughs> I just like this part too much to leave it out. Uh, I just can't relate with something going wrong while filming in the workshop. In any case, look how clever she is for using the cutoffs instead of masking tape. Uh, masking tape can pull off paint because it's, you know, covered in glue. And these cutoffs have the perfect seal because, well, they came from the exact spots. So it's a win-win. And I just love how it turned out. Um, all those gentle gradients, they really make it pop. She finished her wings and the rest of the outfit and I just had to get some footage of her wearing everything together. So I made her dress up and go to a frozen forest with me to freeze, but also to take some videos, and here they are. My toolless approach to wing mounting in the wild made a lot of sense, and it worked out perfectly. Actually, come to think of it, it was the perfect test, because even though the weather was nice, it still had a bit of a breeze going, so any flimsiness in the back brace or the mounting would be exposed. So uh, I'm really impressed with how everything performed, even in outdoor conditions. 
I was a bit worried that the thin steel wire will not be strong enough to support the wings in the wind, but even with such a large surface area, it worked out fine. All in all, in my eyes, her project turned out beautifully, and I'm just really happy that I could contribute a little part of my own. I'm gonna add a link below to her write-up of this project on her website, so check it out. So there you have it. Sprite Darter from World of Warcraft by Skymoon Cosplay. So, thank you for watching. Hopefully you found this video entertaining or educational. Um, and let me know in the comments down below what you thought about this format change-up, a little bit of a collab type of thing. Uh, but yeah, that being said, see you next time. Mm. <laughs> wow, what a great video, I agree. If you would like to see more of my stuff, I made a lot of videos over the years, so here's a few links for you to click on. Ooh, editing, editing, editing. <laughs>